Hey guys, how's it going? And we're back here uh, in the HTBAM. So this is episode 8. I recorded 8 already, um, but I spent way too much time loading this bad boy into our world. Uh, and if you want to see exactly what it is, it is a ginormous chunk that contains a stronghold in it. Now, I probably could clear some of this to reduce my lag, but uh, I'll leave that to off camera. Anyways, guys, so I'll give you guys a quick... Uh, time lapse which took me like 30 minutes but uh, I loaded it using my item structure saver and you can check that out just google search it or something uh, it's pretty useful I'm updating it to 1.16 and adding some new features okay so now that that's out of the way we have this new area I added the end hooking so essentially we go into our story pack and we go into uh nether uh no village and uh, then you have main and in main we have a thing that checks when you were in the tube in the previous episode and teleports you to here and then it also gives you a tag of stronghold so in stronghold it's very similar to our other ones anybody in this tube gets reset it plays the reset function and teleports you into the map uh, so that's pretty much it that's that's how it works okay so we probably need to have some enemies in here um, obviously their goal is going to be to get all of the, uh, well, we gave them the eyes of Ender. Um, so we'll make sure that when you reset, it will be clear at a eye of Ender. Give at a eye of Ender 8. So it'll make sure that you at least have those. It's actually Ender eye. <laughs> um, but it'll make sure that uh, you at least have those in your inventory so that it's possible to finish. Um, and I think that that's good. Okay, so now we go to the portal. And we're really just dealing with the beginning and the end, right? Oh, and there is literally an end portal. All right, so, uh, so we would basically just do slash fill from here to here with... Uh, air replace no, no no end portal frame replace end portal frame so we replaced end portal frames with end portal frames so it basically deleted any information they might have had um, so this will have to be a part of the resets and then we'll have to do uh fill f oh <laughs> Uh, okay, execute in overworld run tp at s and we'll tp here. Execute in overworld run tp at s. Boom. Okay, inside the tube and then I break this to get out. Okay, so we accidentally went in the portal. Uh, so we just have to fly back there. It's very simple. Now uh, we need to clear the portal, so we have to do fill here to there with air, and that will get rid of the portal. All right, and then one of them I wanted to make have a frame since the player has eight, I think, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I give them eight in the previous level. So set block there to an end portal frame i equals true. So that will have one eye in the portal frame. So that'll fix the portal and we're good. Okay, there's a lot of uh, silverfish here. Um, so when you reset, I'll probably do tp at e type equals silverfish into the void. Uh, if you kill them, they'll drop items because I mean, not silverfish, but uh, zombies, which will be in here and skeletons which will be in here and we're gonna basically just uh, make some mob spawners around the map so that hopefully there will be some combat um and that's pretty much it this is just mainly a maze level it's uh you know find your way to the to the spot to the portal and a lot of this is not used like a lot of this uh stronghold is not used i already went ahead and blocked off any possible way to get from the player's spawn point which is here to somewhere outside of the stronghold so you're basically locked into this miniature ish sized area uh, i'm going to clear the chests 
And this is really, this isn't a level to get loot. This is just a level of a maze. Um, so eventually you're going to make your way into here. So let's go ahead and add some enemies. Okay, so we're just going to add a basic spawner. Like we don't even care kind of spawner with um, zombie. And uh, if you ever are one questioning what kind of information to fill in these fields, if you leave them blank, the game will basically just determine it for you. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, oh. All right, so if I just put one right here, boom, see it just spawns as normal, but I don't want to put one there. That seems kind of cruel. Um, I'm going to put one, well, I'll try and hide them basically. So let's go ahead and put one here and they should spawn in this room. Okay. So right here, this way, You'll think you'll know the spawners are there, but you're not going to um, necessarily see them. I don't want them to get in the way. So, yeah, and I'm being very sparing with how many spawners I put uh, because I don't want to overwhelm the player. Like right here, this is that would be way too close. So we're going to let them get a little bit of a ways out of here, but then they encounter the first location with the spawner, which would be right here. Okay, and it is a bit of a maze. So, okay, let's go ahead and put, uh, I've decided no skeletons, essentially. We're just gonna do zombies. Skeletons are annoying. Okay, and then I think that's enough spawners. I don't wanna make this too difficult. I'll put a spawner here, just in case they go back here. Um, but I wanna make this pretty easy. So this level is not gonna be tough. It's gonna be pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, so um, that's pretty much the entire level. If I can find my way up oh, to the exit. All right, so that's this level. It's just a maze. It's just a maze. I know that that sometimes gets criticized, but if the maze isn't too big or too complicated and stylized enough, people probably won't mind it too bad. Uh, now, I, basically, I guess I should give myself ender eyes to check that I can do this in... Um, Adventure mode. And I can't. So I need to make sure that these ender highs and ender, <laughs> ender eyes have uh, a tag of cam place can place on, which I think we've done before. We did cam break and uh, end portal frame. And this is going to be OK that the items in the uh, other room didn't have this. Uh, in the village didn't have this because it's gonna when they come to this place for the first time they do get reset um, so they'll lose them and get them back anyways uh, so let's go ahead and just do this and go into adventure okay so you actually need a lot more than that so let's go ahead and basically pick three to have set so set block end portal frame i equals true i guarantee you i'm gonna get a comment for that even though i did find out eventually that that would be a problem guarantee guarantee one of you is gonna hot uh trigger finger it you're gonna do it the second you see it all right so there we go and let's just get one more okay All right, so that gives them the amount, the necessary amount to punch through it. And let's delete the word Minecraft here so we can have them lined up. Okay, so uh, force load query. Um, I don't know, is this a chunk that, this chunk might not be force loaded. So let me go into game mode spectator and let's do uh, slash force load add. I need to clear the chat in order to see it. Uh, force load add 529.71. Oh, it might already be force loaded. Yeah, it's already force loaded. Okay, we're good. So let's go back to the portal um, and let's teleport into the into the end.
Okay, it does not create an end portal. That is interesting to note. Maybe they're facing the wrong direction? Okay, so it didn't create the end portal, so I'm just basically gonna do uh, execute if blocks from here to here matches, and then I'll just make an end portal over here. So we just, uh, I'll make it on the roof, that's all right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're going to have a problem because the direction that they face is going to trigger it to uh, not select. So let's go ahead and just check each individual one. So execute if block there is end portal frame i equals true. Okay, so we're actually going to have a big, big, long one. So there. Okay, then we're just going to check if this has an end portal, this block right here. So set block. So if this has, if block there is end portal, then run, oh, not if, unless, because you only want to do this one time. So unless that's an end portal, run fill, and then... We had this guy, which did air. We're just going to do it, fill the end portal with the end portal. Okay, that is a huge, chunky command, but we're going to put it here, and there's really no other commands running in this loop, so it's not a huge concern. All right, so there you go, and it filled it in. Uh, now, I guess I could do function uh, slash function a story stronghold reset game mode spectator so i have eight ender eyes and when i go to the portal there's no portal there but when i put one two three four five six seven eight boom and you have the end portal uh i probably could have done some if block stuff because it looks like all of the eyes are facing the same direction but uh I just went with the safest safest option thing that is le least likely to get bugged, and I guess we can hop in. Okay, so we know the player is going to spawn exactly here, um, so we're able to check that. So let's go ahead and do get the coordinates is 149.0, and let's go with uh, execute in uh, the end run. Uh, if as a, a no if entity at a x equals 100 y equals 49 z equals 0 distance equals dot dot 5 game mode equals adventure run tag add s add and we will add the tag of uh, the end or end and uh, then we're going to do one more thing uh, we'll give them a tag of end and uh, tag at us remove stronghold that's really all we'll need to do because this will become their respawn point if they die um, so let's go ahead and go with uh, story and we'll make a new folder so we're gonna make the new folder for end and uh, and we'll make this area the respawn point, so we won't have to do any TPing. So let's go with end. Okay. And just as we did with nether, I think, um, right here, I don't, uh, we might not have done this with nether, but um, we can add this. So we have end and then in the end. So now anything that we type will be in the end. So uh, that'll be a little bit more structured if we do it beforehand. Uh, so then let's go to story, end, 
and now we're gonna have to have a main and a reset so I'll just copy these paste them and I really never actually make an MC function file I always just copy them from somewhere else because it's just easier that way so let's do uh, resets and main so delete delete all right and uh, this can be deleted all right so now we just copy this criteria into this one and we don't need this because we already used it before we got here and then we're just going to run function a story and reset okay okay so we'll, we'll have it like another platform for them to go to after this um, and they will be fighting I think since we're sticking with the really weird thing I think they'll be fighting like I'll make them fight like the wither <laughs> instead of the end or uh, the dragon or maybe maybe I'll make them fight a tiny tiny baby wither that would be pretty funny um, I guess you don't actually need to make a tube we can it's pretty dark here oh god I'm lost <laughs> <laughs> well done render chunks save me render chunks ah there you are okay so maybe we'll make them fight a baby wither that'd be really funny we are kind of sticking to this uh it's a repetition of what everybody does in the game but slightly different because it's a dream um so obviously we're gonna kill the ender dragon And that should clear up the fog a little bit. Uh, here's an egg. Let's break that. And uh, we can do fill air replace and portal. Okay, so that's one of the reset things. It will get rid of that. And just let's do it ourselves anyway so we don't make a mistake. Okay. So the end crystals, interesting. Okay, so we have all these end crystals, right? I'm thinking maybe what we'll do is the end crystals, when you break them, instead of healing, what the end crystals will do, oh, <laughs> well, I broke it anyway. Um, instead of healing, the end crystals will deal damage. And when you break all the crystals, they you beat the boss essentially but he is still gonna fly around and try and kill you um so i'm gonna i think that might be kind of funny as kind of like an alternative gameplay style um now the question is how would you get up here uh that's actually going to be a challenge um and then also alternative mobs to fight you i guess would be important as well because we don't have enderman because game roll mob spawning's off and yeah we'll just we'll just go with a regular wither and um it's not as funny but uh We'll go with a regular wither that they cannot hurt. And they have to kill it using by uh, going up to these, destroying them. How they get up to those, uh, we could do some interesting stuff with Elytra, I'm thinking. So um, let's go ahead and each time that they respawn, we'll give them Elytra um, that are unbreakable. And we'll make like little launch pads around the map that will um, maybe give them a uh a little boost or some kind of fireworks but yeah that'll be for the next episode we finished the stronghold um it was pretty easy so i just went into some exploring of some funny things but uh, anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next one peace